Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to teach you how to connect Power BI to one of the most popular databases in the business intelligence world, SQL Server. So, are you ready? Let's do this. For today's tutorial, I have five different points. The first three, those are just installation points. Point number four, I'm going to teach you how to connect Power BI Desktop with SQL Server. And finally, as always, I have a practical case here. So we're going to import four tables and create a quick report in Power BI Desktop. So this is going to be really fun. And now let's move on to the first point. So here we have two options, right? So if we can just click on this link or we can type SQL Server Express on Google. So either option works. If you go to Google, just type like it says right here, SQL Server Express and select the second option and just follow the steps. So let's hit the first option here for now and let's see how it goes. So this new window pops up and here we just need to hit download. So before you download the software, make sure that you have the details, right? You have the requirements, you have the installation instructions and everything. So there are details here, for example, the latest version, system requirements, install instructions, and also additional information. So make sure that you meet all the requirements and then you are good to go. So once the software is downloaded, double click and then the installation process starts, right? So just hit the basic option here and keep going. So there is also a really good tutorial that I highly recommend to watch. So let me show you what I have here. So this tutorial. So install local SQL Server Express, SQL Server Management Studio, and also a database, which is AdventureWorks database. There are more details here. So this guy explains really, really well. So you might want to watch this tutorial as well. Okay, so how to install SQL Server Management Studio? Like it says right here, once SQL Server Express was installed, there will be a box that takes you to download SQL Server Management Studio. Then just follow the instruction. Now let's move on to the next point. So now this is the time, my friends. We need to install the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2020 database. So let's click on this link and let's see what happens. Okay, so it takes you to this website, and as you can see, this is the database that we are interested in, right? So let's hit this option and just follow the steps. Download here, and this new window pops up. And just as a reference, I already downloaded this, but you have to follow these steps if you haven't done it. Let's go back to the presentation. There are also other databases if you want to play with more databases, right? So let's hit this option and see what happens. As you can see, we have databases here since 2008, and this information has been updated quite often. It's up to you, but there you have the information. So now let's go back to our presentation. Point number four, how to connect Power BI Desktop with SQL Server. Once you hit this option, this window pops up, and you have to fill out the server information, database information. This is actually optional. And we, you have two different options here to, to get data, right, from the database. You can import and you can use direct query. And for our example, we're going to use just import. And then there is also advanced options. And here, SQL statement, we're going to add the piece of code, okay? And then hit OK. And then you are good to go, my friend. So let me show you how it works in Power BI Desktop. Okay, so this is Power BI Desktop. And here we're going to create our first report. So the connector that I'm talking about is right here. SQL Server. Just hit this option. And then this new window pops up. And there it is. All the details, my friend. So we will get there. Let's cancel for now. Let's go back to our presentation. So this is the time, my friends. We're going to import four different tables and create a quick report in Power BI Desktop. 
The first table is the fact table, internet sales, and then the last three are dimensional tables. Promotion, sales territory, and also date. So before we start importing these tables into Power BI Desktop, let's open SQL Server Management Studio. So this is SQL Server Management Studio. So once you install everything, it should look like this. We don't have here the AdventureWorks 2020 database yet, but we can install it right now. So let's do this real quick. Have device here, hit this option. Let's add the file. So we should go to the folder where we save the database, right? So for this particular case, I use this folder. And as you can see, this is the file. So let's hit OK. And then hit OK here. And then OK here. And we are good to go. So now you can see the database right here. We can rename this if we want as well. It's quite straightforward. So let's call this just AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2020. Hit enter. Boom. Okay, so we're going to open this database. And then there is an option here called tables. And here are the tables, my friends. So it's opening. See right here? We care about the fact internet sales. Right click. And we're going to select the top a thousand goals. Okay. There you go. There it is. And then the other three tables are the following. Promotion. Remember that? So we have promotion here. Right click. The same thing here. And this is the data that you guys are seeing. And also we're going to select sales territory. Right click. Same story here. Okay. And then the last table is the calendar table, also called day table. Right click. Same story here. There you go. Here are the tables that we need to import into Power BI. So before we import these tables into Power BI Desktop, so let's delete the fields that we don't care. For example, for the fact internet cells, we can delete these three columns, the last three columns. We don't care about those, okay? okay let's do that real quick. There you go. And then if we take a look at the other table, the promotion table, so we only care about promotion key, right? So let's delete top a thousand here as well. So we only care about promotion key. It's right there. Discount percentage. So let's delete the other ones. There you go. So we also care about the English promotion type and then Let's delete the other ones for now. Okay, so we are good with this table. So let's move on to the next table. So here, for example, I don't care about this column, sales territory image, so let's delete that. All right, so then the last table, the date table, we don't have to delete anything here because we care about everything. So let's delete the top 1,000 here as well. So we care about all the rows here, right? So let's delete top 1,000 here as well. And then here, good to go. Delete this as well. Perfect. So now our job is to connect Power BI Desktop with these tables. Okay, so let's go back to Power BI real quick. So let's hit this option. So what do we need, right? We need the server name. So where do we get that information? So it's actually here. If you can see this option here, this is the server name, control C. Copy here and paste. And then the database, it's optional, but for this particular case, we're gonna add that information, okay? Control C, so it'll be here. And now guys, let's paste the code, control C, and place it here. Control V. We are good to go, my friend. Like I said, we're going to use the import feature, okay?
So it's loading. Okay, perfect. So let's call this table Internet Sales. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing for the other three tables, okay? I'm going to do this quickly. Okay, so here we have the four tables. So there is something really interesting here, dates. So if we take a look at the internet cells before we go into dates, check this out. So here we have, we don't have any date, right? So we, we have here date keys only, see? All the date key, queue date key, ship date key, right? But we don't have a specific date here or a field in a date format. We don't have that. So the connection, because we have to have connection here between the pub table and the calendar table, or the relationship is gonna be based on that field, which is the date key, right? So we take a look at the dates table real quick. This table has a date key. So this is gonna be the common column, right? To perform the relationship. But we do have here a column that has the date format. So we're gonna name this, we wanna call this date, okay? Okay, so if we go back to report, so there is a good step here, a really, really important step. When that type of situation happens, so we need to mark this calendar table as a day table. So here this option, and here this should be day. We are good to go. Because if we don't do that, we're gonna have issues with our calculations. So now let's take a look at the model field. There you go. We do have here some relationships already. Well, let's check them, okay? Real quick. So as you can see, this is the start schema, right? So the fact table in the middle and then the dimensional tables around it. Here, for example, promotion and internet sales. Let's double click. That connection is based on promotion key. From many to one. Many for internet sales and one for promotion. This is good. So we are good to go there. And then let's double check the territory connection here. Same story here. Many to one, single. We are good to go. Okay, now let's perform another relationship here between the date table and the internet sales table. So here, so we have a date key and also here we have three different keys, right? Date keys, order date key, due date key, and ship date key should be right here. So for this particular case, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger if we want. So we're gonna perform here the relationship between date key from the calendar table or date table with the order date key. Should be right here. This one right here. Okay, so let's do that. And let's see what happens. Uh-huh. It's working. Let's double check that. 
it's working perfectly my friends is it okay so we are good to go now okay so let's go back to report and let's start playing with this right so now guys let's create our quick report okay so let's select that here should be a slicer there you go and also we can create a table to start measures let's do this here it is Look, let's create our first measure here let's call this total sales okay it's right here sales amount hit enter let's create another measure here and let's call this total taxes okay sum and then let's set the taxes here tax amount all right hit enter let's create another measure here for costs okay total product cost and let's see what happens boom there we have three different measures and now we are ready to play with them how about that just a card here total costs right can duplicate this card and then select the other one total sales control c control v because this is one as well total taxes there you go and then we can also create a couple of visuals here how about this one right here and then let's drag date into axis and also how about total sales and let's see what happens there you go that's a interesting trend right there so we can also create another visual about this one right here and then sales right there but how about if we select english promotion type there you go see right there it's working perfectly And then we have more space here to create another visual if we want. Control C, Control C, Control D, right here. And then, for example, how about if we check territory here? So let's delete promotion type. And then let's select territory region there you go and then we can rearrange this a little bit better if we want to visualize better right and then of course you can start playing with the report playing with the data and you can even make this report nicer right so you can use your designing skills here to make this report look much nicer but you get the idea here okay so what do you think my friend this is a really really powerful database and now we don't have any type of excuses we have free data to start playing with these awesome tools so if you find this really helpful you might want to watch this first as well really really good information there right see you guys next time